of the Singing Brothers, but had never seen them perform. So when we did first meet, I expected celebrity, uh, maybe um, ego. And so um, I didn't think I wanted to play into that. Mm -hmm. But uh, after our first date, I... You've changed my mind. Six months later, they married in the Provo Temple and flew immediately to London. Las Vegas, so Alan could be in the next show. And that was the first time I ever saw him perform, was our wedding. Wedding night. And I'm looking at him on the stage going, wow, these guys are really good. Wayne. And Kathleen were in the same ward. I was singing in church one she has January. Beautiful voice, Carol. She sings opera. Oh, she's good. And he came. And talked to me after. Once I heard the, them perform, then I recognized the song. but I didn't really follow him. They began dating, and then she was crowned Miss Utah. But the... <laughs> Brothers had a European tour planned, and Wayne wanted to get married and have Kathy go with him. She said... Yes, and gave up the crown. I had a confirmation that from the Lord that I was making... the correct decision yeah which is what this is a woman of faith carol <laughs> which is what god got us through all the roller coasters of show business mary met merrill on a blind date i thought how can someone in show business be a good member and i went home and i said Said on my bed, he was really nice. He's quoted a scripture. He got mad at somebody for drinking a coke. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so he made me want to be a better person. Marilyn and Mary have six children. Debbie's sister introduced her to the Osmond brothers. I knew of them, obviously, but... When I first met Donnie, I thought, I was so blown away with how simple their family... ...family was, um, and just real, and, and I think that's what... made these kids turn out the way they did because they had that foundation for mom and dad with his career and five sons they moved from one coast to the other when donnie would come home he was dad and he was a part of their lives of you know their little performances or soccer always went to church always attended our meetings growing up and i think that instilled in our children the importance because that's what my parents did, and that's what your parents did. Verl and Debbie traveled to Utah in August of 2023. They live in Texas. They met in 2010. It was through a business that, that we were doing. 
and they married in 2014. He had seven children with his first wife, Chris, and Debbie brings five into a blended family. I have my Debbie, but I am still very pleased with all of my family. Tom and Carolyn also have a blended family of nine children. They met through mutual friends in Ephraim, Utah. Walked across the street, saw a picture of me and called me that night and he came down and met me and never left. So, <laughs> been here ever since. George and Olive lived next door for several years. Mother and father went to outings at the school with our children and just a very normal life that we were able to give them here. Faith is a very important part of their daily lives. If you don't have God in your life every day, with the way the world is, it's easy to get lost. The rent is earned. We both are one. I love her very, very, very much. Jimmy and Michelle have been married since 1991. They grew up in the same neighborhood. She was a babysitter for his brother's children. For years and years, they kept trying to set us up. And finally, after my mission to Argentina, we went out on our first date, and the rest is history. <laughs> Jimmy and I have always had a very cohesive and loving marriage. Mm -hmm. To be honest, we almost feel more in love now than we ever have. <laughs> Jimmy calls Michelle and their relationship his greatest blessing. It motivates me every day to be a better man, to be a better husband, to be a better father. And I think in this life, that's all that really matters. Decades after their initial successes, several of the siblings still have careers. Donnie and Marie spent 11 years at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. Let's get this show started! Following that, Donnie created a solo show at Harris. Debbie says it was the gospel that guided them. If we had not had that, I don't know if we would have gotten through the life of show business. I agree. Like we had. Totally agree. There is no way. Because it's a crazy world, and the gospel is just um, the peace. And Jay wrote and produced The Osmonds, a new musical, which had performances throughout England. He loves this photo. For a moment there, I pretended that I was with my brothers again. Jay and his second wife, Karen, moved to England in 2016. The first day we're like, okay, Heavenly Father, we're here. We're in England, now what? It took them five years to write the family story through his eyes. And then they connected with friends in Europe who helped produce the show. People would say, you know, I, w I loved your family before this musical, but afterwards, I'm endeared to your family now. And it was my offering to the Lord. Jay and Karen have been married for nine years with a blended family. How blessed I am to have a husband that has such a tender heart, kind soul, always, always. <laughs> Marie is on the road performing at concert venues throughout the country. She married Steve Craig in 1982. They have a son and divorced in 1985. But then these are all my little girls. Dresses. Marie married again and had two more children and adopted five, divorcing in 2007. She and Steve remarried in 2011. They credit their son, Stephen, with getting them back together. He came to me and said, Dad, I think Mom is overwhelmed with all that she's going through at that time, and she could use a little help. If you think that you might be able to meet with her, I would appreciate it. I had a lot of hurts, but it was wonderful to be able to talk through them with somebody who was, there was no agenda, just, just a good friend. I remember one of her brothers asking me, what do you think it would take for you two to get back together? And I said, about a million miracles. And I guess there must have been about a million miracles that took place. Now, as adults with children and grandchildren, the Osmonds have faced challenges individually and as an extended family. It keeps you in a humble state as well. Because yeah. when you get accolades that you do in show business and you get the applause and the standing ovations, things like that, well, you, you think back on the challenges that you had to get to this point, and it 
makes you grateful for the things that you do have. My family struggles just like every other family. Our children struggle just like any other family. Um, we, we have hardships just like any other Absolutely. Family. We've suffered loss like many families have suffered. But I truly believe forgiveness is the key. Steadiness, faithfulness, and unconditional love. You put those together and remember, this too shall pass. On the challenges that you had to get to this point, and it makes you grateful for the things that you do have. My family struggles just like every other family. 